Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to take a look at the Victor brand Kill and Seal Hygienic Mousetrap. It says it seals in all kinds of disgusting things like ticks, fleas, fluids, and odors. I'm not a big fan of these one-time use disposable mousetraps, but I'm curious if it'll work. It says the box contains two traps, so let's take them out and see what they look like. Here's what the Kill and Seal Mousetrap looks like out of the box. It's made out of plastic, has a little lever here that you push forward, a door. When you push that lever all the way forward, the door goes up. And then when you pull it back, it closes. You can set it by just pushing that forward, locking it into place. That's set now. There's also a little place on top to put the bait. You untwist this, lift it up. You can put their peanut butter there and you'll notice a little rubber seal. So when you tighten that down, it's locked into place. Now the mouse will go in, go around here, hit some kind of trigger mechanism inside, get caught, the door will close, everything's contained. I'm really curious how this works. So what we're gonna do is take a hacksaw cut this in half, see the mechanics inside, but basically it's completely contained and very safe. There's no way any pets or kids are gonna get into this trap. And in theory, the mice just go in there, get caught, that goes up and they get killed. So we'll go ahead and test how well it contains things inside. Push this down to open the door. It's all set, pour in that water. It's pretty full. And then just to make it go off, you give it a little tap. It drips a little bit out the door, but for the most part, if you don't shake it, it's really contained. There's no water leaking out of the trigger or the bait cup. And that door is pretty well sealed. You have to shake it before it starts coming out. I doubt any juices from any mice would come out of this, but I'm really impressed with how well it seals, especially for having a door that opens and closes. I'm curious the mechanics inside, but this is pretty much completely sealed shut. So let's go get the hacksaw, cut this in half, and then see how it actually works inside. Now that we've completely destroyed our trap, I'll tear it apart here. We can throw the top away. Here's the internal mechanisms. When you pull this back, it lifts up the door through that spring right there has a kill bar right here, plastic, clicks into place. It doesn't work as well now that we've cut it in half, but the mouse will go in through the door, around this tunnel, step on this, and when it does get snapped, the door closes, it's completely contained. Now I'm curious if this works, if the mice will actually go in here. So let's go set this up with motion cameras, see if we can get some wild mice in the Victor Kill and Sill mousetrap. The front door is closed on this Victor brand Kill and Seal mouse trap that triggers up. And if you remove the bait cup and look inside, I can see some fur. This trap does work. We caught a mouse. Now the whole concept is a little foreign to me, but I guess if you're a hypochondriac, you're worried about any kind of juices, germs, parasites coming off the mouse, this will contain them. I don't like one-time use mouse traps. I think they're a waste and there's better designs. But if that's what's most important to you, the Victor brand Kill and Seal mouse trap is probably what you want to use. The Victor brand is owned by one of the largest mousetrap companies out there. They've been around for a long time and they have a lot of different traps available on the market. Some are really good, some of them aren't so good. I'll put a playlist together so you can see side by side which one's the best. It's hard to beat the classic snap trap though. So stay tuned, I have a few more Victor mousetraps to go to complete the review list and those are coming soon.